The final on Saturday features two of the game's biggest hitters in a showdown for both the Australian crown and the world number one ranking. Two-time Wimbledon champion Kavitova is on an 11-match winning streak and has been in imperious form at Melbourne Park, where she is yet to drop a set or even be stretched to a tie-break. More tennis and EWSLUCKY7, Flawless Fortnite, Incredible Records Rafa, DJOKER can SETRAFA VDJOKER2, Repeat of Greatest House Open Final Maybe Even BETTERGRAPHIC, Horrific Image Shows Miracle of Open Stars Comeback The 28-year-old is jubilant about making a Grand Slam final for the first time since a Burglar sliced her racket hand in a terrifying attack in late 2016 at her home in the Czech Republic, it's probably a bit more special because of everything I've been through, said Kavitova, who feared she would never rejoin the game's elite after suffering permanent nerve damage. But to make her comeback complete, the 8th seed needs to overcome US Open champion Osaka, one of the few players who can match Kavitova's powerful serve in blazing ground strokes. Follow Petra Kvitova v Naomi Osaka in the Australian Open women's final from 7.30pm at the Czech said she must start strongly against the 21-year-old, whose meek off-court demeanor belies a ferocious competitive instinct, Naomi is on fire. She's in very good form, Kvitova said. She's an aggressive player, which I am, as well, so yeah I think it will be about who's going to take the first point and push the other a little bit. Osaka has battled through three setters three times on her way to the final and said advancing at Grand Slam level was sometimes more about the ability to outlast an opponent than outthink them. I'm playing the best players in the world, and I've been playing three sets most of the time, she said. It's more like a battle of wills at this point. The pair have never met and Osaka said she would have to adjust her game against the lanky left-hander. More tennis and EWSWHO says she can't win at home. Stozer claims House Open doubles title completely wrong, Rafa refutes, aggressive, CLAIMG, OAT in the making. Stunning way Rafa could trump Fed, Jokerim trying to think how Fed beat him, Greek freak, baffled by Rafa Vitova's coach Yuri Vanek said both finalists played in a similar manner. Osaka goes for winners, Petra goes for winners. You don't have time to come up with great tactics, he said, both of them play so fast, I think it's going to be about who has the bigger heart, the final of this year's season opening Grand Slam will also determine the world number one ranking after Romania's Simona Halep was bundled out in the fourth round. Neither Osaka nor Kavitova has held the top spot before. Osaka is currently sitting on a career-high ranking of 4, while Kvitova even in her pomp only reached number 2 in 2011, the year she claimed her maiden major at Wimbledon. Kvitova bursts into final 242 The Czech, whose previous best at Melbourne Park was a final 4 appearance in 2012, said claiming the top spot would be a very nice bonus, but she was only thinking about lifting the trophy. Osaka was more enthusiastic about the prospect of becoming world number one but also said the title was her priority. Of course that's a very big deal for me, she said. It's one of the biggest goals that I had when I heard it was possible after playing the quarters. Osaka eases through to final 150, but my main goal is winning this tournament. The ranking comes after that. I tend to do better if I focus on one goal, winning back-to-back -back Grand Slams would be a huge statement for Osaka, showing her success at Flushing Meadows was not a one-off. She would be the first player other than American 23-time major winner Serena Williams to claim back-to-back -back majors since Kim Kledgesters took the 2010 US Open and 2011 Australian Open. Osaka would also become the youngest to achieve the feat since Martina Hingis won the 1998 Australian Open after claiming the US Open in 1997. Live updates, if the blog does not appear, click here, with AFP.